Okay, so this is part of the channel where I'm going to go through a past exam question. This one is on differential calculus and it involves the second derivative, f double prime. It's worth 13 marks, so we should be able to get through this in 13 minutes or less. Take a picture, have a go at it, pause the video, and then check back to see the answer. Let's go. Alrighty then. Okay, start the clock. The function h is defined by the following. The following diagram shows part of the graph h which has a local minimum at point a. Right, so they've gone ahead and told us that the local minimum occurs here at a. Find the value of the y-intercept. So I'm just going to put, collate my answers up here. So the value of the y-intercept uh, is when we are going to substitute 0 in for x. So when we su substitute 0 into this original function, right, we're going to get 2 times 0. So this expression is going to be 0 uh, plus 3. So the whole thing just comes out to be 3. So the value of the y-intercept is y equals 3. And that is part A done. Let's give it a tick. Find the derivative here of x. Uh, sorry, h of x. So the derivative of this expression, um, well, it's actually, a, it's, it's actually a product, isn't it? So we're going to need to do product rule on this. So let's go ahead and split this down the middle here. So this is u, this is v. We don't need to worry about the 3 because when we differentiate 3, it will disappear. So uh, u is equal to 2x. u prime then is equal to 2. We've got v is equal to e to the x. And v prime is also equal e to the x times 1. Don't forget to times by the derivative of the power in case it wasn't just x. So go ahead and substitute all of that in here. So h prime of x is the product rule. So v du, so e to the x. Uh, du is just 2 plus u, which is 2 to the x times the derivative of v, which was e to the x. Now that's actually the, the answer. It doesn't ask us to tidy it up, but I will do... Um, because it looks a little bit neater if I write it like this, 1 plus x. Okay, so there's the derivative of h, the first derivative. That is another two marks. So let's go and do part C, which is as hence find the coordinates of A. All right, so the coordinate of A is a minimum. So therefore, we know that the gradient at A is equal to 0. So I'm just going to go up to my expression that I just found here. Um, in part B, and I'm going to equate this to 0. Okay, so 0 equals 2e to the x, 1 plus x. Uh, now, the outside of the bracket can never equal 0. This can't equal 0, because e to the power of anything cannot equal 0. So therefore, then, we're just focusing on this part of the um, expression. So when is uh, 1 plus x equal to 0? Well, that would be when x is equal to minus 1. Okay, now, it asks us to find the coordinates um, of a. So if we've got the value of x equals to minus 1, we need to substitute that into the original expression. So the original expression was this up here. So I'm going to just write that down. What is h when we substitute minus 1 into it? So this will give us the y coordinate. So this will be 2 times minus 1 times by e to the minus 1, okay, plus 3. Therefore, that will lead us with minus 2 over e plus 3. So leaving in terms of e, it's negative 2 over e plus 3. So I'm going to go down and put the answer down here. So we have uh, minus 1, then negative 2 over e plus 3 as the y-coordinate. So now we have answered part a. It says show that the second derivative is equal to the following. Um, what I'll do is I will answer this part of the question just here. So let's go ahead and write down what the first derivative was. The first derivative was equal to uh, 2e to the x, 1 plus x. So therefore, then I'm going to have to apply a product rule again because I need to differentiate again. So let's just put u here, v here. u is equal to 2e to the x u prime is equal to 2e to the x, and v is 1 plus x, and v prime is just 1. So let's go ahead and put all of that into the product rule again. Right, so it's v du, so v is 1 plus x times the derivative of u, which is 2e to the x, plus u, which is 2e to the x, times the derivative of v, which is just 1. Now, it tells us what we've got to make it look like. So it might just be a little bit easier if I just times everything out right now. So I've got 2e to the x plus 2xe to the x plus 
2e to the x. And we can see that two of the terms are of like terms. So that's where the 4 comes in. So we got uh, 4e to the x plus 2xe to the x. And this is where you can sort of use the answer to sort of help guide you now, make sure you've got everything correct. I can see that they can take out an e to the x on both sides. And inside we would have 2x plus 4, which is the end of that question. So we have managed to differentiate it twice. Uh, find the value of x for which the graph is concave up. Don't forget from my other video, you can check my, my playlists, is that for a concave up nature, what we need to do is we need to let the second derivative be greater than zero. So for which values, remember it's like plural, so there's going to be like an inequality, a set of values for which it is concave up. So what we want to do is we want to equate the second derivative term. So I'll do this now. This is part DII. We want to equate the second derivative term, which is H double prime of X. We want this to be greater than uh, zero. Right, so we want the e to the x, 2x plus 4 to be greater than 0. Okay, now what we can see here is this value of e to the x will always be greater than 0. So we don't need to focus on that. Um, this is going to be greater than 0. It cannot equal 0 and it'll, it'll always be greater than 0. So we just need to know when is 2x plus 4 also greater than 0. So what I can do now is I can figure out Let's just say we want to know when it is equal to zero, okay? Uh, when, then 2x plus 4, if it was equal to zero, uh, 2x was equal to minus 4, so x is equal to minus 2. If I draw a quick number line out here, minus 2, the value is zero. Now, anything to the right of that minus 2 would lead us to a positive value. Try substituting a number in to here that's greater than minus 2. Okay, so 3, 4, 5 even zero itself okay the value is going to be greater than zero so all values to the right of minus two would lead us to the conclusion that it is a concave up nature okay so my final answer would be that x has to be greater than minus two for this to be true find the values for x which is concave up and that is it that is the end of the question good luck let me know how you get on in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. See you next time. H and X signing off.